Hello again, everyone. Keta Kostman, publisher of Madison's Lover Reporter. Here I am just at the very end of February to tell you about what is going on with the lumber market and the latest U.S. Housing Starts data, which just came out last week. And so what we do at Madison's is a weekly price update for FOB sawmill wholesaler lumber prices across North America, covering uh, Western Spruce, Eastern Spruce, Southern Pine, Douglas Fir, uh, Dimension Lumber, Studs, uh, MSR, OSB, plywood, um, every week, every Friday, which we've been doing since 1952. Uh, for the past about three years, I've been doing some correlation between my weekly lumber price data and the monthly U.S. housing starts, which is released, um, you know, on a lag. The housing starts data comes out once a month for the previous month, and my lumber price data comes out every week for that week. And so I'm just gonna really quick talk about the um, latest Housing Starts data and show you some of my graphs um, where I put the lumber prices against the Housing Starts and explain what is happening and why we have some of these changes that we're seeing now and potentially providing a little bit of explanation for what we might expect to see coming up in the spring and during this summer 2022 home building season. Season. So what we have for January compared to December of 2021 is total starts down by 4.1% to 1.638 million units, which is almost flat compared to January of 2021. Single family starts, the most interesting for us, down by 5.6% to 1.116 million units. And there is some difference in the regionality of the starts, which I would honestly account for mostly the weather with the harsh winter arriving in a lot of the states. The Northeast total starts were up, but single family starts were down by 26%. And in the West, both total and single family starts were up by 15%. And for January 2022, builders reported it was more important for them to finish existing projects rather than start new ones, which could indicate more powerful building activity coming in this spring and summer. And so here we have the very latest lumber price data for the Friday, uh, February 25th, talking about the top line there, Western Spruce Pine Fir, KD 2x4, number 2 and better selling for U.S. $1,350 per thousand board feet, up $20 or 2% from last week, up $173 or 15% from a one month ago when it was $1,178, up $310 or 30% from the same week last year when it was $1,040, and up $904 or 203% from two years ago when it was $446. People will remember me saying, we're never gonna see $400 two by fours again, and this is explaining to you why. So the data this month for the January construction activity is down uh, compared to December. And uh, a main reason given for that was, of course, the very harsh winter weather that came on below freezing temperatures in a lot of the parts of North America, which, of course, would put a stop to activity at job sites uh, and at the same time would uh, reduce the uh, request for lumber at the sawmills. And the other reason is the um, horrible problems that builders are having getting their materials. Uh, large delays in uh, all building materials, not just lumber, but many other uh, required, you know, countertops, toilets, tiles, roofing, uh, all kind of things are taking a long time to arrive to job sites and it's making it very difficult for builders to plan. Uh, so it was very interesting at the end of last year, there uh, was a real run up and uh, it looked like, you know, very positive activity. So a bit of a lull now uh, at the beginning of the year makes sense. But let's have a look at the actual um, data for the uh, starts uh, and my lumber prices. And uh, I'll explain a few more things about what's going on. 
And now to look at permits, uh, the total permits are the highest since 2006 uh, and are flat in January of 2022 compared both to December and compared to January of 2021 at 1.638 million units. Single family permits are up 6.8% to 1.128 million units, which means in two months a potential increase in activity for March of this year, which would be right on track for the spring build building season. And in these data releases, there's more uh, information than just simply what the starts are. The backlog of homes authorized but not yet started broke all time records at 278,100 units waiting to uh, be started. And the single family, the record uh, was broken over the past 15 years, is up over uh, December of 2021, 5.6% at 151,000 units. Okay, and so now for the lumber price, lumber market data that we do every Friday, it doesn't just tell you what the price is of each individual of the 500 commodities that we track. It also tells you what is happening in the market. Uh, we provide a commentary explaining, you know, why the price has changed and what's going on uh, at the sawmill and with the wholesalers. And so for this week, uh, Friday, February 25th, um, in the West there, uh, the lumber that's produced in British Columbia, Alberta, Washington State, Oregon, and a little bit out of Idaho, there is a system-wide fragmentation in logistics, um, which is new-er-ish problem for industry. Uh, the, I'm going to be doing a story coming up uh, probably next week or um, into March about uh, the freight and logistics uh, prices uh, have come out. There's been data coming out um, showing what the transportation costs uh, increase was last year in 2021, 25%. 25% increase in trucking and rail. Uh, and often I say lumber is a leading indicator so that when things change uh, for industry and business, the lumber industry is among the first to feel that pain and the uh, result of that shows up immediately in the prices or in the market. So for the past couple of years, how uh, supply chain and transportation has been a real problem, this showed up for lumber immediately, whereas now it's just coming up uh, in inflation for uh, other consumer goods. And so that's kind of what we mean when we say, you know, uh, lumber is a leading indicator and uh, things that happen for forestry and building materials in uh, solid wood will start to show up uh, elsewhere at a lag. For example, there are building industry agencies and associations now calling for, you know, maybe you'd like to switch to steel studs. Maybe you'd like to switch to building with concrete. What do you think is going to happen? Those prices are going to go up. They're already going up. They're going to go up by more. Those prices are going to go up by more than lumber. They always do. So yeah, replacement materials do exist. And obviously the forest industry is aware of that. But it's not like all of those other prices are going to stay the same while lumber prices are going, you know, triple to what they were in 2017, 2019, right? Uh, so uh, meanwhile, still in the West for the lumber prices, um, wholesalers and resellers are reporting that sawmills are quoting a wide variety of prices over regions and this is directly a result of the transportation issues if it's going to take an extra two months for something to arrive. I mean we just who can plan? How can you run your business with this kind of um, out of your control situation happening uh, with trucking and with the railways? Um, and the other thing that happened, people calling the sawmills not to order wood, uh, but uh, one to find out where the wood that they did order is in the supply chain, which is taking everyone a lot of time and no one's making any money on that. And the other thing was inquiring on what the price might be coming up in March, which, like I said before, indicates good um 
possibility of building activity coming up in uh, spring of this year. Okay, and so here is that uh, western spruce pine fir graph that I was just explaining in the table previously. The purple line is this year. Uh, the blue line is last year. You can see that uh, unbelievable high of over 1600. And the yellow line is 2020, where the shock of the uh, pandemic and the changes to society, the changes to industrial production, workplace safety took effect there in the middle of the year, uh, the shock that went through the industry at these um, extremely high prices of $1,000 was nothing compared to spring of last year. However, you can see that last year that high didn't last very long and it really dropped back down quite low. The recovery now is looks like there seems to be a little bit of a balance in supply and demand, but we really don't know because winter, like I said, is not normally the big volume sales time. Okay, great. And so I'm going to leave it there for now. I've got a couple of more videos coming up. Um, the U.S. new home sales and house prices against my lumber prices and the actual uh, lumber market um, second one for the month update that I've been doing now uh, regularly. And so if you like what you see, uh, click subscribe here and uh, click like so that other people can see it. And also uh, go on my website, there's a link here in my caption, to uh, ask for a sample and we will send you the uh, PDF which comes uh, out of the dashboard uh, that my subscribers can see, uh, showing you the full list of the lumber commodities that we track and the current price. And also we send you the uh, Word file that has the market commentary explaining some of the things that I just said, why those prices are changing.